Okay. Thank you also for turning any forms or donations into the pink tray. Remember that all field trip donations are due on September 7th. Okay, so that's in that's next Thursday. All right, today's August 28th, 2017, and today we're going to review and add on to what we know about metric units, okay? And our learning goal is to be able to use what we know about place value and exponents to convert metric units. Now, when we talk about metric units, I want you to know that there are three different basic kind of units. There are meters, and we use meters to measure length, right? There are liters, and we use liters to measure volume, and there are grams. We use grams to measure weight, okay? So if something weighs one gram, that's like the basic unit in, a metric, in the metric system, okay? If something is one meter, that's the basic unit in the metric system. If something can hold one liter of stuff, that's the basic unit in the metric system. So take a moment right now, in the, kind of in the middle of your paper, you can see we're going to make a chart. So in the middle of the paper, go ahead and write down the basic units for length, volume, and weight. Now, if something is 10 times bigger than a meter, we add what's called a prefix before it to change the size. What's a prefix? What's a prefix, Rohan? Yeah, a prefix is a part of a word. Does it come before the word or after the word? Before. The word pre means before. So in the metric system, it's very nice and easy because to change the size of the unit, we just add a prefix, a little part of the word before the actual word. Okay? So if something is 10 times bigger than a meter, whoa, hold on. So if something is 10 times bigger than a meter, we call it a decameter. Okay? See, a decameter. If something's 10 times bigger than a liter, we call it a deca liter. If something's 10 times bigger than a gram, we call it a deca gram. So go ahead and add the deca prefix to the left to show that it's 10 times bigger than the regular unit. Now, if something is 10 times bigger than a deca meter or a deca liter or a deca gram, there's a different prefix we use. We call it a, let's see, hold on, sorry guys. Okay, we call it a hecto meter or a hectoliter, or a hectogram. So you can see it's a different prefix. So a hecto is how many times bigger than a deca? Ten. Ten times. A hecto is how many bigger, times bigger than a regular meter? So we can see that each time as we're moving to the left, it's getting how many times bigger? Ten, ten times bigger. If something is 10 times bigger than a hectometer, we also have a different prefix for it. We call it a kilometer, or a kiloliter, or a kilogram. Does that word sound familiar to you guys? Yeah. So if a kilo, oops, hold on. If a kilo is 10 times bigger than a hecto, which is 10 times bigger than a deca, how many times bigger is a kiloliter compared to a regular liter? Because we can see it got three, 10 times 10 times 10 times bigger. So it's a thousand times bigger. Go ahead and fill in your chart. So over here, we can see that a deci, that's another prefix, a decimeter would be 10 times smaller. So in order to get from a meter to a decimeter, I would need to divide by 10. Okay. The next one says centi. Have you guys heard of a centimeter? Yeah. Yeah. Is a centimeter bigger or smaller than a regular meter? Smaller. How many times smaller? A hundred, because a centimeter is ten times smaller than a decimeter, which is ten times smaller than a regular meter. So to get from a regular meter to a centimeter, we need to divide by a hundred. Okay. And finally, the last one, I'm going to tell you, it's ten times smaller than a centimeter, right? Which means it's how many times smaller than a regular meter? One thousand. You already know this prefix. What is it? Milli. Very good, milli. We can think of this metric conversion chart just like a regular place value chart. And I want you to write this in your notebook. You might want to change colors. We can think of the ones as being the regular meters, the regular units, right? This is like the ones place. Then the decas would be the what's place? Ten. Ten. Tens. Very good. Because it's ten times bigger than the regular <coughs> unit. The hectos would be like what place? Hundreds. Hundreds. Good. 
And then finally, the kilos would be like the? Good. Okay. Moving to the right, the decis would be like the what's place? Tenths. Tenths. How can I write tenths as a fraction? Can I write it like this? One tenth? Yep. Good. Okay. The centies would be like what part? What part of it? Hundredths. Good. And then the millies would be the? Thank you. Okay, so make sure you write this in your chart so you can see how the metric system is just like the place value chart. So let's take a look at this first example. We have 3.823 meters and we're converting it to millimeters. So are we going from larger to smaller or smaller to larger? Okay, so go ahead and first copy this problem down into your notebook. And then next to it, write that we're going from a larger unit, L, to S, larger to smaller, because a meter is big and a millimeter is small. So are we going to need to multiply or to divide? Talk to your partner and justify why you think we need to multiply or divide. So because we know that the unit is going from a larger size unit of meters to a smaller size unit of millimeters, we know we need to multiply. Because we know that in one meter, there are 1,000 millimeters. So we need to multiply this number by 1,000. So we could do 3.823 times 1,000 to complete this conversion. When I'm multiplying by 1,000, the digits are moving to the left or to the right? How many times? That's the same as moving the decimal in which way? If the, decim if the digits are moving to the left, the decimal is moving to the? Three times, so one, two.